In today's video, I want to teach you how you can write better emails in Outlook using Copilot. But before, before we get started, I do want to let you know I now work at Microsoft, but I want to keep making these tech tip and trick videos to help you use your computer better. So you can see here that we're in Outlook. I've already got an email pre-populated, but there's a few caveats I want to let you know as well. The first thing is I am using the Outlook on the web version and I'm using it on a Mac, but whether you're using PC or Mac, the experience is pretty similar. On the Mac right now, in the messaging tab, you see the Copilot button. If you're on Outlook on PC, you might, instead of messaging, select on the Home button instead and find the same Copilot dropdown. The other thing you should know is that Copilot is paid. Right now, we're using it on a Microsoft 365 Home subscription, so you do need a 365 Home or a business subscription to access Copilot in Outlook. With that being said, let's actually get into making this email even better. So you can see here, I've already got a draft that I started. I wrote this just like I normally would saying, hey, how are you? After watching a few of your, vid your videos, I was wondering if we could catch up next week for about half an hour to discuss an upcoming uh, project I think you'd be perfect for. I've put in a few times it would be available and then asked, let me know what works for you. This is basically how I'd write an email if I wanted to ask someone to catch up. With Copilot though, what I do is I select in the Copilot dropdown button, and then I have two options here. The first one we're gonna go through is one I use more often called co uh, Coaching by Copilot. And this here, once I select on it, is gonna read my email and it's gonna analyze it and look for suggestions around tone, clarity, and make some suggestions for me to improve the formality, the tone, and the clarity of the email. So it already says by our tone here, it starts with a more formal greeting like dear instead of hey. It also says instead of writing how are you, maybe write, I hope this message finds you well. And to sign off, instead of writing thank you, you can say best regards or sincerely. Um, I actually just like signing off with a thank you, but I do think these other suggestions of D and I hope this message finds you well, they're actually quite nice. It makes it a little bit more professional. If we scroll down to the read a sentiment option, this is about expressing the collaboration approach and how they're gonna feel when they read the email. Um, so it says, why don't you add a sentence to acknowledge that person's expertise by saying something like, I've been impressed by your insights from your videos, uh, express gratitude for them thinking about our meeting with you, such as I appreciate you taking the time to consider this. And of course, include a polite request for response. Please let me know if any of these times work for you. It's about making those little incremental improvements so your email becomes a bit more polished and a bit more professional. And I like a lot of these suggestions. And then of course, there is reader clarity. So this is around seeing how easy it is for them to understand the context of the email. So it makes some suggestions like briefly describe the project and it even puts in brackets here, a brief uh, description. It says, why don't you include the purpose of this meeting? So it could be exploring potential collaboration opportunities. And why don't you be a bit more flexible about the contact details? If none of these times work for you, please suggest alternative times that do suit and that do work. So here, if you're happy with these, you can simply grab them, copy, paste, or edit the email yourself. You could regenerate if you're not too happy with these ideas, or you could simply sim simply select on apply all suggestions. Click on this button, it takes a few seconds, and then it generates a rewritten version. And then from here, you have a few options to either regenerate, and this would rewrite it again in another, another way that you might prefer. You can choose to insert it below, and this drops it right below. Or we could have chosen to just insert it. I'll show you what that looks like now. Let's quickly undo this. And then instead of going insert below, we can simply select on replace, and then it just drops it straight in, ready for us to go ahead and write. So that is one of the best ways and the most common ways I use Copilot to improve the way I write emails, but there is another option as well. So I'm gonna quickly delete all of this. I'm going to drop down the Copilot option and I'm going to select to draft with Copilot. This here is going to ask, what do you want to say in this email? I would like to say, please write me an email to AJ asking if he would like to meet for a potential collaboration opportunity that I would like to discuss. Obviously, the more detail you put in here, the better draft comes out. Let him know I'm available. 
these following times. Monday, 9 to 10 a.m. Tuesday, 10 to 12 noon. And Wednesday, all day. And then we're simply going to select on generate. So the more you put into the draft, the better a response you get. But straight away from that simple sentence, we already have an email saying, hi, AJ, I hope this email finds you well. I'm reaching out to discuss a potential collaboration opportunity that I believe could be mutually beneficial for the both of us. I'm excited about the possibility of working together and would love to share details with you. To make scheduling easier, I'm available Monday from 9 to 10, Tuesday between 10 and 12 noon, and all day on Wednesday. Please let me know if any of these times work for you or if there are any other times that suit you better. Looking forward to your response and hopefully working together soon. Best regards and adding your name. If you're happy with this, you can simply select on keep. If you don't like it, you can discard or you can select on retry. But there's also another option here called anything you'd like to change. So we can either type in here or we can select on the edit prompt and you can choose to, there's a little filter option to make it longer or shorter, more formal, direct, or even a poem. I'm going to select on anything you'd like to change. I would say, um, let them know you've liked and subscribed to their channel. And then I'm going to select on enter. So this is going to recreate it, letting them know that I've also liked and subscribed to their channel. So you see here, this is actually, in my opinion, not as nicely written out because it is just one uh, sentence. If we go back though, you can see here is the first draft. We jump forward to the next draft. It is uh, redone. I'm going to hit retry one more time. Let's see what this option gives us. And you can see here we have a few different drafts here. I'm going to actually go here. I'm going to ask to make it more formal. And then as soon as I selected make it more formal, it puts a dear AJ, it breaks it down into the introduction, the body, and then the sign off. And then you can go through and you can change or select whichever one you're after. I actually do prefer the first one because I like how it's broken down into all those different little chapters. I'm going to select on keep it. And then you can go ahead and send this email off once you've confirmed that it's exactly what you want to write. Another tip I want to give you, which I believe is only available on Outlook on the web and the new Outlook app, is if you select part of that email, you get the option of rewrite with Copilot, which it doesn't rewrite the entire email, but just what you've selected. So I'm going to select on this option here. It's going to load Copilot into this box, and then it's going to give you a different way of rewriting just that sentence. So you can choose to replace it, regenerate it here, or you can choose to adjust it with the tone, you which we can make more professional or casual. You can change the format. Uh, you can also change the length of it as well. I'm going to change this tone to be a bit more enthusiastic. I'm going to change the format to be a bit of a idea. And the length is going to be medium. Now let's go rewrite. So this is quite cool that if you have a long email that you don't want to rewrite everything, this allows you to just adjust that sentence or that paragraph that you are writing. And it says, I trust this email finds you in good spirits. I'm writing to propose a collaboration that I'm confident will be mutually benefit, uh, beneficial or bring mutual be benefits. The prospect of teaming up excites me and I'm eager to deliver in delve into details with you. I'm going to select on replace. And that's going to allow you to replace just that sentence instead of rewriting the entire email. And there you go. That is how you can use Copilot and Outlook to write emails better or to help you write better emails. Maybe you can help me speak better too sometimes. I don't know. Uh, of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you're in a super chat to raise your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.